With the recent news that BuzzFeed Australia is shutting down, it is my heartfelt wish to extend to those workers a sincere eat shit. But to really remind everyone of why this old rickety mare was finally, mercifully, shot in the head, let's take a well-deserved trip down memory lane of what a depressing blight they truly were. This is 21 Questions American Taffer Australian. Ooh, fun. Question one. Why is your money so colorful? It's currency, not a fashion contest. Your money is Illuminati paper confetti and you're gonna get haughty about our pineapples. I remember the last time I was in the US, washed my jeans, there was a hundred dollar bill in there. You know what happened to it? It disintegrated. You know what happens in Australia when you do that? Nothing! It's not a fashion contest. You can't tell if you've taken out a $1 bill or $50 bill in the US. And because you have such shit minimum wage laws, if you handed a waitress a 50, they just assume that it was a really generous tip. Two. Also, why is your money made out of plastic? Well, we already covered that, but just to add another complaint. Why isn't Kool-Aid sweet? Why do I have to add sugar to it? Can't you do that? I thought you were the capital of diabetes and convenience. Why are you inconveniently separating your two enterprises? Before the first thing I used to associate with Kool-Aid was tooth rottenly sweet. Now all I associate with it is Jonestown. Three, did you really put kangaroos on your coins? Dickhead, you showed our kangaroo on our coin. Question back at you, did you really have to put that pyramid with the eye on your dollar? I think you've got bigger questions to answer, mate. Wait, you eat them? So like, you put food on your currency? Yeah, that is true, we do kill and eat our emblem. As opposed to you, who just shoot bald eagles out of the sky. Is anything available in your country? Fuck yeah it is, cunt! Say And death in paradise! What, 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 what is it? It's a murder? What, what kind of murder? In a tropical paradise, no less. What else do you need? Number six, have you guys ever heard of shirts? F it's not enough of a punishment that these people have been fired. They should be punished retroactively for having the job in the first place. If I could suck out the soul of everyone who worked at BuzzFeed and force it for all eternity to write lists that are even numbered, just once, just one list that wasn't 21. 20, that's all I ask. I do it in a flash. But to answer your question, yes, we have heard of them. You get them at Lowe's, cat. Though it is illegal to wear any shirt without this particular cartoon style. Mm, this lamentable burger's full of flavour. Seven. How much bad wine do you people drink? Yeah, fair. In fact, we'll think you're doing a goon review, so thumbs up if you want to see that. And don't forget to watch our original classic, Goon. Oi, dog teen of the future. Oh. He, uh, he really does have our number on that one. Eight. Have you ever made it through a sentence without swearing? I'll up the ante. Have you, as a BuzzFeed employee, ever said a single word confidently? I'd rather live in a society of fucks and cunts than live in a society with hokey politeness designed to mask the fact that you're all thinking, I don't want to lose my job, I can't afford healthcare. Nine, what's with the selfie ass? Who do you think you are, Anglin? Dude, have you seen how many states are named after the queen? Yes. On another note, how self-absorbed do you have to be to think that the imperial system is better than the metric system? It's the one I know, so it's objectively better. Man, the world agrees with me. It's not. 10. Why are your pharmacists called chemists and they don't sell beer? Well, there's a very simple answer to that. Our government isn't controlled by your sponsors, i.e. the pharmaceutical industry, BuzzFeed. Therefore, our government has the clarity to think, hmm, maybe selling alcohol and benzos in the same building isn't the best idea. 11. How are you this bad at baseball and why don't you call it cricket? 12. Why do you call ketchup tomato sauce and charge for it? That is so emblematic of how much of a corporate dictatorship America is, where tomato sauce, i.e. the name of the product, is foreign to them. What they now call a product is a brand. It is like they are saying, yeah, just fill up my car with gas. Uh-uh, you're filling it with Exxon. Also, just as a quick two for one, it's petrol! 13. Why do you call Burger King Hungry Jacks? How many of these are you going to do? Why were you shocked when you were fired? Why weren't you shocked that you were hired to do this in the first place? 14. Why are your large pizzas the size of our personal pizzas? And cue the stats.
Why are pies filled with meat instead of fruit? Well, let me ask you this, Tanner. Who on earth wants to eat a pumpkin pie? Now, I know what you're going to say. People in Kentucky, so you can't use that as an answer. Go. 16. You know that's not how we make that, right? F*** that's dumb. Even for BuzzFeed standards. Anyway, let's just soldier on. Not that many to go. 17. How is high your second lowest fire danger rating? Ooh, too soon. 18. Why is there something you're proud of? Get out of there! Oh, sorry. Better get my green card in order to go to the land of literally lions and tigers and bears. We've had one spider death in the last 40 years. How many people have died of, I don't know, fucking hand grenades in America over the last 40 years? Four million? I'm gonna guess four million. A hundred thousand each year. Nineteen. Why do pigeons look like death? Man, I don't know if we've said this enough in this video. This list is so dumb. 20. And how is it the one creature that can't kill you outlawed? You know that episode of The Simpsons where Bart introduces the bullfrog? It's just the mammalian version of that. In fact, if anyone has any legitimate questions about Australia, just watch that episode of The Simpsons. It'd answer 90% of the questions on this list. 21. And seriously, what is the deal with Vegemite? Cause mate, we're convicts and we don't fuck around. There's only three things you need to live. Salt, yeast, and bread. So stick your cilantro up your ass, and while you're at it, chuck up aluminum there as well. And if you're an Aussie that doesn't like Vegemite, unsub, unsub, I don't want your kind watching me. And if you're one of those wankers from Melbourne or Tasmania that says, I actually prefer Marmite because my mum's from New Zealand, you can stay, but you're on notice. If you prefer Marmite, yeah, you can press the like button, but don't even think about smashing subscribe. Marmite. Anyway, that was fun. Always a pleasure to drink goon out of one of the skulls of your vanquished foes. Please share and comment below. Command.